All right, so now we're going to be talking about uploading your videos that you created in Kaltura to Blackboard. Uh, so you're taking a look at my screen here, and I am in our uh, CDIS Design demo course. So essentially, what's really cool about Kaltura is you can put a video anywhere in your course that you'd like. So if you want to make a video announcement, you can totally do that. Uh, if you've got, uh, let's say, an assignment or, or some kind of media uh, to add into the modules, you can do that. Upload a lecture, perfect place for that to go. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. And, and it's essentially the same across the entire gamut of wherever you are in Blackboard. So I'm going to go to our modules uh, folder. Um, that's primarily where you're going to be uploading any kind of lectures, uh, videos, and so on. So I'll go into Module 2 here. Okay. So I'm going to go down to my media section. And above the media heading, you've got this little drop down arrow. You can click and then select Edit. So we're going to add a media segment within this particular heading. Okay. So we've got media, view, and listen to the following. And now I'm going to put in my lecture. So we're going to say Presentation 1. It'd be great if I could spell. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to click this little button here that's marked Mashups. If you don't see this button on your text editor, come over here to the right hand side and you see this Show Less. Well, if, it's, if the chevron is pointing down, then this is probably what you're seeing. Uh, so hit that chevron looking item and you should see all of the options populate. Okay, so we'll click Mashups and there's this little drop down arrow that's to the uh, right of Mashup and I'm going to select Kaltura Media. Now what's kind of cool about this is there's some other options. There's a YouTube video, a slide share presentation, a Flickr photo. So if you haven't ever explored these, I urge you to do. They're pretty cool and they make, uh, they make your course a little bit more engaging and interactive. Okay, so we're going to click on Kaltura Media. And what this will do is it's going to open up the Canopy uh, Kaltura repository or media repository. So this is where all of your videos uh, that you've uploaded, if you have uploaded any, are saved. Uh, so you've got your media, you've got the media gallery. This is for um, if you are part of a, a larger media gallery. Uh, there's the shared repository, so if you've signed up for that, you have access to any of the videos uh, from other colleges that have been uploaded to the shared repository. Uh, but for this particular instance, we're going to focus on my media. Uh, now you've noticed here I've got a few videos that I've uploaded, some that I've uploaded for other faculty members, uh, a couple that I've put on myself. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to add a new video to this repository and then upload that to your uh, Blackboard course. So if you look over here in the upper right, there's an Add New. And from that, there's a couple different options. A media upload, so you upload any video from your computer. Uh, a webcam recording, which just starts a uh, an ad hoc webcam recording, so it'll it'll start a webcam right there if if you click on that. Uh, a capture space instance that's going to open up the Kaltura capture space that we took uh, took a look at in the record section, uh, and then screen recording that's going to be just like webcam, an ad hoc uh, screen recording straight from this particular option. But we're going to pretend that you've already recorded your video and you want to upload it from your computer, so we'll go to media upload. And now it's going to say choose a file to upload. So we'll click that little button. We'll get a file explorer. I'm going to go to my videos folder and uh, I'll select a video to upload. So I'm going to do uh, a screen capture that I just did for the record section of this training. There we go. It'll take just a second for that to upload. And while it's uploading, uh, there's some metadata here that we can fill out. Uh, so the name, we're going to say this is presentation one, uh, description. It's a, okay, and then tags. Now, a lot of fee, a lot of folks ignore uh, the tags, but they're actually pretty important. And there's one that is especially important. Uh, so, if you've ever had a video in your course before, uh, and you've done a course copy, and all of a sudden that video gives an access denied error, uh, the main reason for that is it's missing a tag, and that tag is KAF. There we go. All I have to do is type in KAF and it gives me the, uh, the tags here. And it's KAF underscore global underscore channel. Now how on earth would you know that? You wouldn't. Uh, so that's going to be why I'm including this into the training. Essentially what this says is it is part of a specific tag or specific channel uh, that allows it to cross over different courses. 
so this is supposed to pr uh, prevent you from getting that access denied error uh, anytime you do a course copy and that video drops. Okay, so we've added that. I also recommend adding the CAS tag to it. So C A, uh, oops, let me click in the box again. C A H S, and it's searching. There it goes. It found it. So I select the CAS uh, tag, and then I also recommend putting your name. Um, now you may be uploaded as a Blackboard user, so type in B B U S E R, and then underscore your name. Okay, um, so I haven't uploaded one uh, with this particular sign-on, but I can do that. Uh, or you can just simply type in your name. Uh, and then it'll say, hey, do you want to add this as a new tag? And you'll say, yes, you do. So that's three ways that this video can be found, uh, either by looking it up in the media repository, uh, looking it up when you're doing a course copy, uh, or if you need to reach out to myself or anyone here at the CS Design team to find that video for you because let's say something goes wrong, uh, we have some different options to find it. Okay, then we have this little plus sign here. This is uh, required for media, uh, uh, required to share it on the shared repository. So if you do want it to be up on the, the college-wide or I should say the university-wide shared repository uh, for anybody to be able to watch, uh, you're going to want to fill out this section here, and there, there's quite a different, uh, quite a few options for you to select. Um, it's not a necessity. It's not something I really recommend, simply because for for our uses, we're going to be using it for our classes. Okay, so once you've selected all of those uh, segments, you're going to click on save. It's going to save it, uh, and then now we're just waiting for it to upload. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, now the uh, video has uploaded to 100%, and thanks to the magic of video editing, uh, you didn't have to wait as long as I did. Okay. So just a word for the wise the longer the video, the longer it will take to upload. All right. Now we have got everything uploaded. We've got the, the title, we've got our uh, description, we've got our tags. It's 100%. I'm going to click on Back to Browse and Embed. All right, so that's going to take me back to my uh, media, and you'll see that now we have presentation one added here for six minutes and 52 seconds. I'm going to click select, and in doing so, it's going to embed that into my course. So if I scroll down and take a look at my uh, little um, uh, text editor here, we'll see I added presentation one. Now we've got the picture of the video that any uh, students can click on to watch. And then we've got all the metadata over here to the side in a table. Um, if you don't like the table being here, no big deal. You can uh, just right click, delete the table. It just takes all that text away, uh, but it will leave your video. Okay, once you're finished, you'll scroll down. You'll select any one of the selections here, whether you want them to view the content, track the number of views. If you've got date and time restrictions, you can add those. And then just click Submit. And it'll take just a second for Blackboard to embed that into the course. And there we go. Cool. So now if I scroll down to media, there's the video. When I click on it, it opens it up into a, uh, a player. Um, takes a second for it to load. There we go. All right. And the video is off and running. Cool. So that's all there is to it. I, it, it it's not a terribly difficult process. It can be a little lengthy depending on the length of your video. Uh, really, in all honesty, that, that only took about two minutes for it to upload. I know it was acting kind of funny in the background, but a uh, total of two minutes to upload. Um, 
and, and simple as that for your course. So uh, I hope you found this particular tutorial helpful. Uh, if you do have any questions about uploading your videos to Blackboard, please feel free to reach out to us at See This Help. Uh, I also encourage you to take a look at the other sections of the training. If you haven't watched the record section, uh, I urge you to take a quick peek at that to see how to use the Capture Space uh, application to record your videos for upload. Uh, and then I also urge you to take a look at the file management section and that's going to really walk you through how to manage uh, some of the recording files that you'll get through the uh, Capture Space desktop recorder. Uh, as always, there's this little uh, hands-on activity icon here to the uh, upper right. If you click on that, it's going give to you, give you the Capture Space application uh, and you can click around uh, and learn some more about the, um, about the Kaltura feature hands-on. Uh, so I will see you in the next video.